Hey there, welcome to Monster Shop. Uh, this is Chris, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this Predator that I just finished painting. Uh, this is an albino Predator. And the way how I work on this, on this uh, mask heads, this actually is a display one, so it's made out of resin. Um, the ones that are made out of latex like this one, this is the state that I get them. You know, you see there's a lot of flashing, there's a lot of stuff that I have to um, clean up, I uh, have to wash them, and then I uh, clean them with uh, alcohol or um, any other product, uh, depending on what material is the one that I'll be working on, uh, before I'm able to even start priming and of course painting um, to be able to get this. In this case, this head uh, was made by a sculptor um, named Howard Senft. Um, Howard is one of the sculptors that I've been using a lot of his props for a while. He made a lot of the, uh, the thing, uh, bust that I painted in the past, um, the Joker and other ones. Um, is he's an amazing, amazing artist. Um, so I was lucky enough to be able to snatch this uh, head from um, a collector, and and I painted it. Um, for a while, I wanted to do a, an albino. I haven't done one of this in a in a, in a long time. <clears throat> so I decided to to go with this. I had the dreads already. Uh, they were made by um, Chuck Ruffing. Another great, great uh, artist that uh, anything related Predator 2 especially, uh, City Hunter, uh, the unit, he'll be able to get it. And if he doesn't have it, he'll make it. That's how good Chuck is. Um, back to this albino. Uh, I wanted to just do something a little bit different. Um, my colors right here that I, I use for this, I went for a nice blue um, and then I dry brushed it with copper I know I kind of like that uh, combination um, something different again for especially for this character got a lot of pinks since he's an albino um, light veining here and there modeling in the mouth um, you know playing with different um, reds purples um, dark purples and of course, some of that uh, um, blacks uh, dotting that I use in, in some of my props, just to break the, the color, break down the color. Uh, the eyes as well, painted by me. Um, the Predator usually does what I do. And, and unless I need something uh, like human eyes that I'm definitely not good at it, and there's other artists that are way better than, and, than I am doing that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I, I will paint the, on the Predator. I think they're very easy. And uh, that very small um, uh, pupil, it makes it look even meaner. Um, again, here with the, the paint job, you know, just a little bit different spotting, um, little mix colors here and there. Uh, when I paint the, the albino, I love to use um, the the pale color, the white uh, underneath. Then I will do all the black spotting and start little by little. Start adding different uh, shades of red. I use some yellow. Uh, I use brown. Uh, actually, no, it's not brown. I use um, uh, burn amber uh, and of course uh, dark blue as well. You can see a little bit of shade of dark blue here and there. Um, I don't know. Those are the colors that I see on a on a uh, uh, albino prior and um, this is what I I end up with uh, I did not put any dread beads on this one um, I think it kind of takes away from the paint job on the dreads 
Uh, I wanted something, again, simple for this uh, Prado. And I think it looks mean enough. And that's what uh, uh, I think I'll, I'm going to stop right there and uh, let you just see a little bit more of the detail. And um, on my next video, I might do the uh, uh, another variation of the wolf brother or finally finish up that dog from the thing that a lot of people have been asking about it. And uh, uh, actually, I might, I might do that. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I hope you have an awesome 2024. Take care, bye.